All right, so if this game works out, cool. They get the kindred support video they want. If this game doesn't work out, well, you know what? Things happen. There's the runes at the bottom left. So it's Rel Samira. We are probably going to get our cheeks clapped down here being two ADCs like we are. But it's fine. Yes, W, get him. Get him, W. Demolish the first two levels. I mean, it's Samira. I expect to get demolished at some point, especially with Arel as well. No, no, you don't get to put a ward here because I started scanning for some reason. But farm your minions. Twitch? Twitch? Support gap. I need therapy. Why do I need therapy? Because I'm mentally insane? There's not enough therapy in the world to fix my brain, bro. Go to therapy? My therapy is Valorant. So I stream Valorant on my second channel all the time. Pretty sure that's the opposite of therapy. It's only the opposite of therapy when there's a sky on my team. Oh, actually, how you doing? Yeah, I still got some arrow. Let's go. We take those. Too bad I didn't kill Rel though, I didn't get the mark. Hmm. Pain. I smell their fear. No, Kanye, you're gonna die. Wait, no, you're not your Kanye. Who am I thinking? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta kill, Twitch gotta kill, everything's fine. You're not getting a kill no matter how hard you try.
Okay, you're gonna kill Fiddle, or Fiddle Twitch, probably, but that's fine. I don't really care about him. Okay, I might die, actually, if I'm too cocky. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Oh, Silas got his ult cancelled. Boop that for some health. Oh, I didn't hit her. I didn't get the assist. I, uh, I want the mark. Is crit kindred still a thing? I mean, you can build crit, but it's nowhere near as good as on hit. The issue with crit is a lot of the, a lot of the items are really expensive. It's RNG based until you have like two to three items. You're not going to consistently crit. On top of that, you get a lot less utility and survivability. Like you don't get the magic resist. You don't get the HP out of the items. I shouldn't honestly be hitting that. Like there's a lot of issues with crit that make it not worth it. Whereas with on hit, you get the survivability, you get consistent damage, you're not gambling on RNG to get your damage off. Like, you're getting everything you could really want with it reliably, whereas you don't get that with crit. Even in, with how much damage is in the game from runes and everything else, the damage from crit really isn't worth it on Kindred. Because yes, it's technically higher burst, but at the end of the day, you're going to still do stupidly high damage with on hit to the point where it's negligible at best. And on hit's better against tanks anyways and things. Crit's just really not worth it. Crit's just overrated and just kind of garbage nowadays. I'm Kindred specifically before somebody's like, but actually I'm Isaiah. Yeah, I don't care. I'm talking about Kindred. An ally has been slain. <laughs> I still haven't gotten a mark. I'm just going to mark Samira at this point. I feel like it's easier to kill her than the Rel at this point, so... Yeah. What am I building this game? I'm building Gale Force and stuff for fun. Alright, so Rel got six. We may try it all in. He is gonna try it all in. You know, as soon as we I unmark Rel, we kill Rel, but you know what? I still got the mark anyways. I should honestly reset or go realm. But minions. Hello XP. I still need XP. I can also just freeze the wave here for Twitch for a second. XP is for nerds. True, true. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Win the game by being level one. You know, fair, fair. I mean, with the way my teammates talk and ranked, if I were AFK and not playing jungle, we would win every game. So, you know, I should just stay AFK at the start of every game and win. If you think about it. Oh, Kanye, you're fine. You, uh, he's gonna go chase for the Shelly. Did he even get the kill there? I don't know. I'm just gonna do this. I feel like getting Shelly was the much better call here. This is honestly the better call than going to chase mid because the, the Shelly already died. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. He wanted to chase the kill on Fiddle.
Possible. Oh yeah, you can win 4v5 games. Nobody's saying it's impossible. The reason most people forfeit when somebody goes AFK is because it's not worth the attempt. Playing man down is not worth it in most time, most situations in the league. The amount of effort and the amount of time you spend in that game, you're better off a lot of times just ending it and going next than just like playing out a full game that way with the full 5v5. Because the, like, the likelihood of actually winning a 4v5 is extremely low in league. So it, a lot of times it's just not worth the time investment. Unless you're like incredibly fed and incredibly confident. No, oh, I can't catch him. I don't have four marks yet. I'm sad. If I had four marks, he's dead there, but I didn't have four marks yet. Pain. I still can't mark their bot lane yet. You know why Rel's dying so easily too? Is because she's straight up griefing with her build right now. She's against a double ADC bot lane who are both building AD items and she didn't go tabby first item on a tank support who could easily go tabby first item. Getting the armor plus taking away 12% of our damage outright is so valuable against two champions who pretty much only auto attack. You know what I just thought of that's going to be for fun for YouTube videos and stuff? Since they're removing Mythics, that should mean that, like, unless they're removing Rageblade from the game, that Rageblade gets to go back to old Rageblade where it didn't take away your crit chance and stuff and scale off a crit chance. So maybe I can do four fun Rageblade builds and stuff again, even if they're suboptimal. Since Mythics going bye bye. She's dead. Damn, the grunt, uh, the grunt marked. Oof. Nice. Oh, we killed him too fast. I didn't get the mark. Pain. That's still alive. That is still alive. Hmm, but Rel is over here. Never mind. I don't go for that. If Rel's there, it's a waste. Oh, killing your ward. Oh, 
Hi, Samira. Oh, no, he's ulting after me. Wait, he didn't kill me. <laughs> Wait, he turned around. This unique uh, system staying away? What do you mean unique? You, you know unique passes and stuff have been in the game well before mythics and stuff, right? Items that share the same passive like sheen procs and stuff never stacked. That, that's been in the game for a long, long time. That's a paid actor, right? Hmm. Wait, you can auto me over the wall? What the fuck? Scion can auto me over a wall? Huh? King, go kill him. I guess the more you know, I didn't know Scion could auto me over that wall. What wall, Pika? He ordered me over this wall right here. I had no clue he could do it. Oh, well, they forfeited. All right, well, you know what? Good enough for me. People wanted a kindred support video. Here's a kindred support video. I got to save my ADC and shit and kill people. It's the best you're getting for kindred support, because... Yeah, don't at me. Also, when I do up with this, people should like and comment and all that, because... Yes. I see the damage charts. Woo. Oh, shit, I... I clicked one too far forward. Alright, I did the second most damage on my team and third most in the game. Kindred support, OP, OP. Oh, wow, I actually did more damage than the Twitch who had like, what, 11 kills? Wow. Alright, fair enough.